Billy, you so crazy. Yo, what's cracking? What's bracking? It's your boy. Billy, you so crazy. And yeah, we back and we back and we back and we back with another one. Y'all read the title, so you already know what I'm doing. This is Navy SEALs Buds Class Hell Week Training, all right? I've been doing a quick little series on this channel where uh, the veteran react series if you are new to this channel then you're not familiar with that but this is where i react to a bunch of different military content all over youtube so feel free if there's a video that you guys want to see me react to put it in the comment section feel free to uh link it if it goes to my spam folder or whatever just know that i approve all my spam comments so you don't got to worry about that you can also send it to me on social media i also have a patreon link in the description so feel free if you want to donate help the channel out or if there's a request you want done a whole lot faster that's the quickest way to do it man but i do appreciate all you guys love and support but enough talking let's find out how these navy seals get down in the hell week of training part one how many parts my is name this? is instructor pearson i'm uh, the lead instructor at the nsw prep school did he forget where he was Lakes, at illinois some of the issues that i've been seeing with the students when they show up here on deck are just not very, being very prepared for what they're about to endure uh, which is a preparatory school. They think they can rely on this to get them in shape for buds. I call it a prep for a prep. A lot of, a lot of what I see go hand in hand with the injuries that we get here. Uh, a lot of lower leg stress fractures uh, come into this program. Some guys have ran on nothing but ellipticals, which isn't even running. They have to be <laughs> ready to endure the stresses that are here. And, uh, they shouldn't be running in boots, they should be running in tennis shoes. Starting off on a soft track, you can find it in any middle school, high school. It should be a slow progression. Getting yourself used to it, getting those Xbox controls out of your hands. Oh, wow. Getting on the road and working on it. Uh, in swimming, get a little bit of fins on. You can buy some cheaper surface swimming fins at, uh, at your sports store. Get in the pool, just kind of get used to it. Uh, a lot of guys have a tightness in their, in their ankles because they're not used to swimming with fins. We do a lot of fin work here. We do a lot of fin work in buds and in the SEAL teams. So to, to not practice with an essential tool of what we're gonna be dealing with here would be, uh, would be foolish. As far as calisthenics goes, you don't need to go out there, hit the gym, hit GNC, get jacked, look like you have big muscles. You should have a strong core. You should work on core exercises. Ooh. You should work on ground movement stuff. You should work on your push-ups, your pull-ups, your sit-ups. All that stuff is very weight. important when you're here. Uh, I've seen guys that are 130 pounds that can go through this program just as easily as guys that are 210. Probably easier because they can run faster, swim better. The lighter. Uh, they come a little bit more prepared without that extra superfluous muscle on them that bogs them down through this training. Yep. Lighter. They're a whole lot lighter. My name is Jim McKinney. I'm one of two lead instructors here at Buds Prep, and my job is to prepare our students for Buds. The way we do that is through our distance swims in the pool, our long distance runs at the track, our sand PTs, our surf PTs at Lake Michigan, our push-ups, our weight training, our sit-ups, our pull-ups, and a lot of mental toughness classes that we have here. The best way we tell our students to prepare in order to get here healthy is to obviously do more running programs, get themselves healthy, do prehab type workouts, which is on the sealswick.com webpage. We want to see more preparation. Obviously, you can't prepare enough. We see a lot of students fail out just on the basic swims, the basic runs, they get the, in the injuries, shin splints, the stretch fractures on a 10 mile a week run basis the first Ooh. week. That's not going to cut it at Buds. The problem we see here at Buds Prep are the students are not familiar with using our jet fins. Most of the students we have come from a different background where they're not aquatic related, so to speak. Our best recommendation for kids in high school or college coming to our program is to wear the fins in their training regimen before they get here. So we'll prepare. And slowly break their ankles in. What we see here is guys swim our workouts. We swim 12,000 meters a week, and again, we go for a long run after that. And usually their ankles are shot. The and they go for a run after that? Yo, let me know in the comment section if you can make something like that. Can, can you make it? Guys who have great ankle flexibility, come from a swim background that utilizes fins, have no injury problems whatsoever. That's crazy. Our best advice would be to prepare themselves mentally and physically for the training. Obviously, it, everyone talks about it being very physical, but it is 90% mental. During your That's training true. programs, you can't just train for the PST, the, the minimum requirements. You have to realize you're going to first phase of BUDS, which is one of the hardest training programs in the US military. You have to train 
to realize that Hell Week is three weeks into first phase. What I mean by mental toughness, I mean don't just do the 42 minimum push-ups for the PST. You have to realize you're doing hundreds upon hundreds of sets of push-ups at Buds. When you get to Hell Week, those push-ups, those hundreds of push-ups get into thousands in a day. So 42 push-ups, bare minimum is not gonna cut it. When you guys do your training, do beyond 42. Push it that extra 10%, that extra 20%. That'll build yourself physically tougher and it'll build your, your mind power to make yourself mentally stronger for Buds. In order to prepare for the rigorous training at Buds, if you're still in high school, we recommend you playing multiple sports. No more Xbox, you can't play a little bit. Get Why outside, get some at Xbox? Indeed, play some soccer, get in the pool and swim laps with your buddies. Go surfing. They really do not like Just Xbox. Just be outside and be active. If I was Microsoft, I'd be like, yeah, you better chill out. happen when you go to Buds. Obviously, it's the hardest training in the U.S. military for a reason. Y'all better chill out by calling out my uh, game. <laughs> I don't got an Xbox, I got a PS4, bro, whatever. There's no women Navy SEALs? Or is this super old? I just want y'all to know, I don't know what's going on with the audio. This is not my edit. This is theirs. Oh boy, did not hit a real push-up just now. I just want y'all to know that. Are they handcuffed? Oh my God. I know that log heavy as hell, boy. I know that log heavy as hell. They must have had to mute this for uh, legal reasons or something, because like it don't make no sense why this, this don't have no audio. You'll get exposed real quick. Who ain't holding this bar? This mug heavy as hell. Shout out to all the seals out there, boy. Hell no nah has seemed to be the phrase of the day. <laughs> Hell no. Nope, 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 nope. Mm -mm. Yep, couldn't be me. Mm -mm. I am too cush in this life that I'm, I'm living right now. I'm too cush. Cause this is this is wild right here. I really want to know why they muted the audio though. It must have been like a copyright reason or something. Cause it's legit like no audio right here. <laughs> it's legit. And did the video freeze? Oh, yeah, that was a copyright issue right there for sure. UMG came and got them. My bad, y'all. My microphone was on mute. <laughs> I know y'all was like, yo, he's talking, but we can't hear him. It starts with a bang. Chaos to kick off the week with some intensity. Okay.
Yeah, this is the part that I wouldn't pass because I I have nighttime blindness like a mug. I cannot see. Mm-mm. Seals WCC.com. What is uh what, what what does WCC stand for anyways? Someone let me know in the comment section. I'm sure you're like, how do y'all not even, how do you not know? But I legit never looked into anything Navy related because that was always off the table for your boy. Um, uh, I think that the obstacle course is a great evolution. And I think a lot of people don't take advantage of it. The purpose of the water obstacle course is to help you identify your weaknesses. If you can't carry your weight, it's going to help you find momentum. If your upper body strength is not there after doing it over and over again you're going to end up building that strength up to make it through your evolution i think hmm. that not just this obstacle course is water obstacle course but any obstacle course it's it's great for agility i mean you're gonna be a navy seal you can't just be good at one thing you can't be good at two things you have to be good at everything personal obstacle course would be to test a person's uh strength their overall ability that, to that'll definitely fear, expose you you'll be hanging right you know, over some water it's gonna know, expose you to get up that rope get across that rope you know climb that ladder uh so yeah yes and then no in the end because it's on your own to really dig down deep and pull out what you have inside you to complete the obstacle of course and my wounds will feel faster than my pride you know if you give up and quit, that's a bar it's a huge that is a bar against your pride that so, is a yeah, bar gotta, gotta, gotta my wounds will heal faster than my pride your wounds and that's a bar. I liked it. I liked it. I liked it a lot, bro. Them and this 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 copyright audio. Like y'all should have owned the rights to this. All that money. Y'all don't got your own music. Stop playing with me. Until I actually cannot do anymore. Until my hands are bleeding. I just don't want to quit. I just think that if you can, if you're gonna quit on this little obstacle, how you gonna do another? Bro. This is a shame. All that, see? What happened when YouTube changed their policies and just let anybody claim your video for fun? Second phase is, in my mind, the phase where we transition from the the kind of high impact selection phase of training to see who's committed to the program into what makes frogmen frogmen into the the block of training uh, where they'll learn the skill sets that that comprise that ability to operate in the water and underwater uh, which is kind of the at least the foundation of, of who we are frogmen huh they start second phase with classroom work which is dive physics dive medicine so they understand the principles uh, and physics behind uh, the skill sets they learn and then we teach them on the basic apparatus how to do um, mostly emergency type procedures in case something goes wrong we want to test their comfort underwater and their ability to make good decisions if things are going wrong so they can save themselves and, and frankly to our community more importantly save their buddy if their buddies in need yeah, sounds like some good skills to know right there for sure. Me at the bottom of the ocean, I'm gone. That's it. Ain't no saving. Surf passage. I've been seeing them hold this raft up the whole video. So they about to get smacked by some waves. What's going on here? Damn. Damn. So they got to take the wave head on and they crash into their buddies. Jesus. Where is this at? That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. 
They done lost a buddy. Welcome to the rock. Dwayne Johnson better not make an appearance in this damn video, bro. I'm turning it off. I promise you. Because he got too many he got too many movies out right now. The skills that the students learn here in third phase are very important because they are the basis. They are the foundation of everything that they're going to learn in follow-on training. Why does his voice sound like that? training or SQT as we call it. This is the foundation right here, the, the most basic of all of the, the shooting and the moving that we do. Just the basic. This is so bootleg. Like, it's not even funny at this point. This is a Navy SEAL video, and they can't, they don't even got the rights to their own audio. That's so crazy. That's so crazy to me. Like, who the hell wants to sit and watch a silent Navy? F okay. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I try to help y'all out. I try to help y'all out. Look, so right now they, they're hanging off a rope, they're doing pull ups. One, two, three, up. Oh, they're jumping over a wall. Oh, now it's nighttime. I can't see, so I don't know what's happening. Um, uh, it looks like they're on a mission. They're responding to some contact. It's morning time now. I don't know how the hell that happened. Well, I guess, you know, night goes into day. So I guess that's how that happens. Now they're um, assembling a radio. I have, I don't know. I have no idea what's happening here. Maybe if we had audio, I'd be able to. I would know, but since their stuff got copyrighted, don't got the slightest damn clue. So I'm just making stuff up. They're creating IUDs. Um, they're taking it into the water. Wow, that's crazy. They're putting it at the bottom of the ocean. They blew the whole damn water up. Okay. This is like a scene off the Power Rangers. Okay. Um, And that's the end of the video. Wow. Woo! Don't you want to become a Navy SEAL after that? Yes, I do. So that was Hell Week. <laughs> Yo, this is all jokes. No, no one get offended. Someone's gonna get offended. It's all jokes. Please don't get offended, but somebody's going to. I know it. Um, but yeah, that was my first time even hearing about a Hell Week training. Like I said, I've never looked into anything with the Navy. After I realized they'd be on boats for months at a time, I said, nope. And, you know, I joined the Army. So that's what happened. But um, if you did enjoy this reaction, give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know, feel free to give it a thumbs down. I understand. I didn't mean to disrespect my navy seals out there respect to y'all you know what i'm saying all my veterans out there thank you for your service from one vet to another you know what i'm saying but you had to ha i had to have some type of fun with this especially since the audio was cut so whoever owns the rights to this video please get your get your audio together and re-upload this or something you know what i'm saying for real re-upload this make it right because that's that's that ain't that ain't it chief that's really not it but um that's all i got for y'all <laughs> don't forget i have a patreon link in the description feel free to donate if you want to help the channel out all my social media links are right there so feel free to hit your boy up one time that's it man this is your boy billy you so crazy and i see you on the next video man i'm out this thing